Welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. I'm your host, Jen Weir. And today we're going to dive into yet another beautiful passage in scripture. One that's going to help feed your soul and your spirit so that you are not malnourished, but you are getting nice and fat in the spirit. That's the, that's the place that we want to get fat, right? We're going to put our flesh aside and dive in. Today's passage of scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 12. And as I read this, I, I thought about this and thought, oh, maybe no. I thought, nope, I'm going to share with you guys how I study the word because I study it with no pretenses, no preconceived ideas about what I think it should mean. But I'm thinking about something which my theme recently is fearing the Lord. What does it mean to fear God? What happens when we do? What are the goodies in Jesus that we get when we do fear the Lord? So I was flipping through and came across Matthew 12 because I was actually looking for a different passage. And I'll read it to you. So it's Matthew 12, verse 14 through 15. And so Jesus, um, he just he just bust the Pharisees' chops, right? Because he just healed a guy on the Sabbath. Like he walks in the synagogue. Um, I'll give you a little backstory. And he looks at this guy. He's like, hey, uh, stretch out your hand. And the guy stretches it out and it was restored to normal. You're not allowed to heal on the Sabbath, apparently, because that's work. They had a lot of rules that really the Lord actually didn't give them. That's another story. But here in verse 14, it says this, But the Pharisees went out and counseled together against him as to how they might destroy him. Now, just the mind of religious people, think of just in that context, that they were so mad that he broke their rule that they wanted to kill him. Jesus was messing. He's cool like that. Verse 15 says, but Jesus, aware of this, withdrew from there. Okay. And here's the part about the fearing the Lord that we're going to get to. And it says, and many followed him and he healed them all. When you fear the Lord, not men. See, if you, if you read the word, even just the book of Matthew or even John, actually John is good because John is where Nicodemus comes to him in the cloak of night because he's afraid. Because he's a Pharisee. He's afraid that the other Pharisees are, I don't know, going to not play with him anymore or take away his breakfast. I'm not sure what he's afraid of. Kick him out of the synagogue, probably. So he's afraid. And Jesus straight up just does something so upsetting to these religious law people that are actually aren't even in the word of God to, to set up. But again, another story for another day that he makes them so mad and they're going to kill him. This is where they start to plot against him. And other people, he withdrew, he withdrew, excuse me, he withdrew from there and yet people still follow him. They're like, we're going to go with that guy. We're not going to be afraid of these people. We're going to go with that guy. And what does he do? He healed them all. Jesus withdraws from the ugly situation, these people see what happened and they, we're gonna go with Jesus. They didn't fear these guys, they fear this guy. And that's the thing I wanna get across to you, is that when you study scripture, look and see the actions of people who fear God. Because they believed Jesus. They didn't believe the Pharisees. That, my friend, is something that you want to steal in your mind. And again, as I've been saying these last few spiritual breakfasts, believe. I'll stress it again and again, this oil is a game changer. If you are struggling with belief in anywhere, and belief of God's goodness and his blessing and his mercy over you, you need this oil. Sometimes studying the scriptures, it's like it, it falls on that rocky soil. It falls on the soil that's got chunks in it. Belief takes out those chunks of limiting beliefs, of beliefs that are not from God. That's what this oil will do. It's hard to explain over a video, but if you breathe it in, I promise you, you're going to see what I mean. I hope you've enjoyed today's spiritual breakfast, and I pray that you are starting to believe and fear our God more and more through these. We'll see you next time.